All right, guys. Um, here's my White's GMT um, prospecting gold prospecting detector. Um, I've had this for a while now. I've gotten used to it. This is what I use for gold hunting um, and prospecting for gold. And uh, it's not that hard to use. I mean, you got to get used to it. You know, it's not an advanced machine per se, but it it does require some knowledge. Um, um, so this machine has a variable speed, which is called the SAT. I like to put it right on the white arrow for that adjustment. The threshold, I like to keep it at minimum, very minimum for small targets. You get the big ones too. Don't worry about that. You barely want to hear a hum in your ear, um, with your headsets on. Um, the power or gain I like it just above the arrow, about a seven. Works for me every time. And then the uh, ground balance. I like fast auto track. Some people talk about manual. They like manual. Um, this machine ground balances automatically for you. So I'm totally cool with that. And I've been using that for a long time and I've been finding nuggets with that. So it's good for me. Works for me. Um, I never use the audio boost at all. I just don't. Um, you can use that if you want. Um, it boosts the signal of target, especially small targets, but I don't like that. And then finally the screen. I don't look at the numbers on the digital format. Um, if I'm using this machine in manual, as opposed to fast auto track, if I want a ground balance, I will push the grab button as I go towards the ground. And that'll give me a, a ground balance at that point in time, every time I am detecting. Um, like I said, I like to keep it on fast auto track. It works for me. And uh, so that's, that's how I like that. I don't pay attention to those numbers, by the way. I just don't. I dig every target. I always have. Um, I have in my hands here a zero... 0.05 gram nugget. This thing is tiny. Um, you can almost call it a flake if you want. Um, turn the light. There you go. It's it's tiny. And I just want to show you uh, what the Gold Master can do, the GMT, with this nugget. Okay. I'm getting my phone away. And here we go. Watch this. Probably a little higher on the gain. I I turned it down probably a little to, or actually threshold. I'm sorry. Right about there, so you can barely hear it. Right about there. That's where you want the setting. Hear that zip, zip? It's a zip, 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 zip. That's going to help you find your smaller targets. Um, the bigger ones, don't worry about that. You're going to hear those in the headsets. But the small ones, you want it set to these settings here that I just told you. And you're going to find nuggets, guaranteed, um, if you do these properly. Um, you'll dig a lot of trash before that. I have. Um, but you will find nuggets this small if you set that threshold to barely audible. And uh, that's it, guys. I mean, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I've, I've had the GMT for a long time. It's been a great detector, and um, um, I like it. I mean, some guys like the Mind Labs, and those are a little out of my price range, actually. I like those, too. But uh, the GMT is a, is a great detector, um, and I've been using it for a long time now, and I really like it. So... Have any questions, please feel free to ask. That's it, guys. All right, have a good day.